we define the sine and the cosine of an acute angle as the ratio of the corresponding leg to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. But what about the ratios of the two legs? Well, just as these two ratios don't depend on the particular right triangle, but only on the angle alpha, so will the ratios A over B and B over A depend only on the angle alpha. The first one is called the tangent of alpha and the second one is called the cotangent of alpha. That is, the tangent of alpha is equal to the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent leg, while the cotangent of alpha is equal to the ratio of the adjacent to the opposite leg. What is the relation between the sine of alpha, the cosine of alpha, the tangent of alpha and the cotangent of alpha? Given that the sine of alpha is equal to a over c and the cosine of alpha is equal to b over c, then the sine of alpha over the cosine of alpha is equal to a over c over b over c and c and c cancel out, so this is equal to a over b, but that is the tangent of alpha. So the tangent of alpha is equal to the sine of alpha over the cosine of alpha. Similarly, the cotangent of alpha is equal to the cosine of alpha over the sine of alpha. We first recalled that the sine and the cosine of an acute angle are equal to the ratios of the corresponding leg to the hypotenuse. Then we said that in the same way that those ratios don't depend on the particular right triangle, but rather on the angle alpha, the ratios between legs will also depend only on the angle alpha. The ratio of the opposite to the adjacent leg we defined as the tangent of alpha, while the ratio of the adjacent to the opposite leg we defined as the cotangent of alpha. In the end, we saw that we can represent the tangent of alpha and the cotangent of alpha using the sine of alpha and the cosine of alpha. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. How can the sine of alpha and the cosine of alpha be represented using the tangent of alpha and the cotangent of alpha? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.